Hi, welcome to the fourth part of this series which I'm using to teach you how to create a manga download by using Python to scrap the web. And the web that we're scrapping is mangareader.net, just for this example. So in the previous video we saw how we created a settings module or, or .py file that we use that we used for the global variables or constants and I already went ahead and formatted this file with indentation and comments. I also added more settings, so if you want to pause the video and check and check them out, or you can wait until we actually use them, so you see what this means. So I also went ahead and added some import statements in the string helper .py which is the file in which we're going to work today. So the first import is from the settings.py module. I want to import all of these variables. So I say import everything. This is the wildcard character or the asterisk. I want to import everything from settings. I also want to import the regular expression module used for the dashes function. But if you don't know regular expressions yet, don't worry. I'm also going to use a syntax that's mm, common to everyone or beginners. So don't worry. Let's actually create the dashes function. We're going to use this to correct to get the correct So we define a function called dashes. We accept the series, the manga series name, and we return re.sub. The sub method of the re of the regex module means subtract, or no, I mean it means substitute everything that matches this pa this pattern here. with a dash or a minus symbol it's the same character a dash from what string well the series name but lowercase so we use the lower method of the string which is the series name So this is going to replace white space with a dash. Or if you are not familiar with the way this syntax for the regular expressions, we will use an optional syntax. So let's comment this. We can return mm, the series dot series name dot split. Dot lower. So this is going to grab the series name, it's going to convert it to an array, and it's going to use this space as a as a separator. So each time this split method sees a space, it's going to separate it. So we're going to get an, a list of words. So for example, if the name is Naruto Gaiden, it's going to have a list of two strings, Naruto and Gaiden. No space in between, use Naruto and Gaiden. So actually this lower is going to be needed at the very end once we enclose this in parents because we want to join that, that, that uh, list into a string using the string join method or list method. So we're going to fuse this list or this list with a dash. Okay, so 
thing we can use the lower method so this is going to do this okay I want to join this list into a string and in between the items I want to use a dash and once I joined everything I want to lowercase it so this is going to work like this it's going to construct a string it's going to see the first item so write it then before it types the next item it's going to add a dash and type the next one and when it finishes it's going to convoke the lower and it's going to do this fairly easy isn't it so we can keep going on and let's create the zeros algorithm So let's create a variable called digits. <clears throat> we invoke the len function to this parameter, which is a, actually a string. It's not a number. It's a string that represents the page number. So we can grab the number of digits. For example, if our page number is four, the length of this string is one so the number of digits of this of this string if it was a number is one if it was 45 the length 44 i mean is the length is two and so on we actually need a zeros variable so we type a zero and we can use the multiply symbol or the asterisk to repeat a string a certain amount of times and the times that we need to multiply or repeat that zero string is the estimated max digits which was three as in the settings module and subtract the number of digits and then we return the trailing zeros and append the page num string and why will this work well let's imagine i pass a number a page num 5 we determine that the length or number of digits of 5 is 1 so we multiply or we repeat this zero just 3 minus 1 is 2, so we repeat the 0 2 times. And if we append the 5, we get 0, 0, 005. If the page number was 55, it will be two, 3 minus 2 equals 1, 0. We append just 1, 0. And if it's 0, if this returns 0 or a negative number, we're not going to get any zeros. So with that out of the way, we can create the URL assemblers. So let's first assemble the page URL. So let's create a get page URL function. Let's see a series name, an episode number, a page number with an optional value of one, I mean a default value of one. So we can return the provider, which is going to be the URL base. So this. we concatenate 
the series name that already converted to dashes. So in the previous example, we saw Naruto Gaiden. We append a, a slash. The episode num is actually a number, so we convert to it to a string. Let's say I want a 500 chapter. Again, a slash. And we convert the page num, which is now a number. Like so. I want a fifth page, for example. So this is going to be the URL that we're going to assemble with this function. Let's create the next function. So again, let's see how this works. Okay, I want a local path. Let's copy this. We append the series name, which is a string. Let's say in our to... For example, let's say we passed our to gate and our string to the console. So this is different from these dashes. We actually used the value that was passed to the to the application instead of the dashes of the of this format we also need a slash and the episode the episode number which is going to be a string in this case for example, 500 and a slash at the end. We also need, uh, I think that's everything for this file. So see you in the next lesson.